Good morning, Adventure Kids. Here we are, 2021. Let's go, I'm excited. And guys, we're back. I have missed you. I hope you've all had an amazing Christmas. Um, did Santa come to anyone's house? Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. Wow. And did anybody get any lovely presents and get to spend time with their family? Did anyone eat some good food? Ah yeah, some amazing food. Me and my dad boshed it out. We did great guys. I hope you had such a lovely Christmas and I'm so happy to be back with you, to be back every week. We are back guys, we are here to stay. I'm so excited and I hope you are too. Well, you might have heard of New Year's resolutions. These are something that people like to set, some goals for the year. But we believe as Christians that it's really important to to speak over the year, to say 2021, that's God's year. We are gonna to sing together now, guys. We are gonna declare over 2021 that God is bigger than anything it can throw at us, that God is in control, that he is bigger, he is stronger, he is more powerful than all of it. So we are gonna to sing together, and then after that, we are gonna hear a story about two men and their father, and one of them ran away, but I will let Claire explain that when she tells us our story. So we're gonna to sing together, I'm going to be down here doing the actions and then Claire is going to read us our story. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's higher than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's higher than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. Hi everybody, Claire here. Oh, it's so uh, it's so good that I'm here with you today. I am so lucky that I get to come and share today's story with you. Now, I am actually filming this before Christmas, hence why my Christmas lights are up. But for you this is after christmas we are now in a new year and i just want to say i hope you had a fantastic christmas i hope you had some good time at home with your family whoever your family may be so today's story is about the prodigal son can you say that the prodigal son now when i say son I don't mean like the sun in the sky. A son is a boy who is the child of a mother and father or parents. So if you're a little boy and you have a mum and dad, you are your parents, your mum and your dad's 
son. So we are learning about the prodigal son today, a story that comes from the Bible that Jesus, and God, Jesus tells us. So today I have puppets to help me tell this story. Here I have, here he is, here's the son. Oh, I don't know if you can see, look, the son's not very happy. Now the son actually had a brother, another little boy who was born from the same mum and dad, but I've not got a puppet to show him today because the brother, he was working for his dad and he was getting on fine, he was getting on very happy. Whereas this son, he, he, look, look, he's sad, isn't he? Show me your sad face. He was sad, he wasn't enjoying working for his father. <gasps> oh look, here is his father. Here he is, he wasn't enjoying working for him. And he knew that he had, his dad had, some money for his son. For when his son was old enough, he would give him that money to go and do what he wanted. Decided that he was going to take that money and rather than continue working for his father, continue doing things for him and working under him happily, the son decided, you know what, I've had enough. Enough is enough. I am done. So he went and he asked his father, Please, I need my money. I would like it now so I can go and do what I would like to do. Now, even though the father was a, a bit sad about this and a bit worried, when you're worried about something, you're not sure what's going to happen, get a bit of those butterflies feeling in your tummy, tummy feels a bit strange. Even though he felt a bit like that, he said he decided to honour his son, to look after his son and give him that money so his son could go and try and be happy. So he gave him his money. Here you go, son. So off the son went. Lots of time later, the son was still working, but his money hadn't, he'd spent all of his money on things that didn't actually bring him happiness, that didn't make him happy, that, you know, he, he worked, but he wasn't working in anywhere, anywhere nice. And where we find him, he was working with the pigs, looking after pigs, doing all that hard work and just, oh, he had had enough. He'd lost all of his money and he still was not happy. So he decided, right, I can go back to my dad, but my dad will not be happy with me. I look at me, I'm, work I'm working with the pigs. I I I'm nothing, I've got nothing from my money that he gave me, the money that he saved for me. So he thought his dad was going to be angry with him. But if he said to his dad, look, treat me as you would, you know, someone who was working really hard for you, almost like a slave, somebody working for you for no pay at all. Just treat me like that. I can work with the pigs. I can work with the anything in the field, the sheep, anything. So he decided, right, that's what I'm going to go and tell my father. And hopefully he will welcome me back home. So he's coming back this is a, quite a bit later he's coming back to his father and his father he spots him from afar you know the son he thought he was going to be angry didn't he because he took the money and left and you know he'd not called him but the father he spots his son from afar and he starts running towards his son and when he gets to his son he gives him the biggest hug Ever. And there is the biggest smile on his face. He is so happy to see his son. He gives him a hug. He says, oh, my son, my son, you are home. You are home. And he tells all of his servants, all the people that are serving him, working for him. He tells them, oh, my son has arrived home. We must throw a massive party. Oh, we all know how fun parties can be. We must throw a massive party with loads and loads of food. My son, you are home, you are home. And he gives him all of that food and that massive party. And look, the son is so happy. I want again to be home, but his father still loves him. And his father is looking after him. So they go and they have their party. What a wonderful story. And that story helps to teach us that just like that father in the story, God is looking out for us. He's always looking out for us. It also teaches us, number two, so that was number one, that God is looking out for us. Number two, that, that there is 
always a massive, massive party in heaven whenever somebody comes home to him, to God. And lastly, number three, this father is an example. It shows us how God loves us as his children. We are his children and he loves each and every single one of us just the same, no matter what we have done. So whenever you do something, ever you feel a bit worried about something that you have done, know that if you ask God, he will forgive you and he loves you. He is looking after you today and every day. Oh, what a wonderful story. And I loved being able to um, tell you that story today. So thank you for having me and I will see you again soon. Have a fantastic week. Bye. Right, who'd like some chocolate cake? Just one piece at a time, please. And how about some tea for you, Mr. Meerkat? And some for you, Pam. Some for Alfie. Some for Rosie. And some for me. Oh, hi, Adventure Kids. We're just having a tea party here to celebrate that the prodigal son came home. Hooray! Cheers everyone! What kind of things do you like to do to celebrate? Do you like to have a party with your toys? Or perhaps you like to go to the park and play with a friend? Or perhaps you like to draw or create a picture? Today we're going to create a picture about the story from the prodigal son. But it's about one of the lowest times in the prodigal son when he was feeding the pigs and remembered how much his dad loved him. Here we go, this is what we're hoping to make. So what you need is a piece of paper and a paper cup and seven ice lolly sticks, some glue, one of our favorite things, a pen, and then these bits are a little trickier. So we want two oval shapes because they're going to make his feet. And we're going to have two teardrop shapes to make his ears. And then two round circles to make his eyes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw onto the eyes some pupils. And then draw, perhaps you might like to draw onto the ears some little bits like this. And then finally, I want you to draw a face on the bottom of your cup. Two eyes and a big mouth. But it's not really a face, is it? It's the nose and the mouth for the pig. So then, we're going to get our glue stick and we're going to make a fence. So we're going to put three long bits on the fence first. Space them out nice and far apart, about one stick width. And then we're going to stick our other four sticks across ways to make the railings. do is we're going to stick down the ears that they're going to be like at the top of the picture and then we're going to stick the feet hanging over the railing and finally we need to stick the eyes onto the pig here we go eye on this side and one eye on the other side. Press them down nice and hard. Oh, and we need some glue right on the bottom of the cup. Now, some advice to mummy and daddy, probably leave the picture lying down for a little while to make sure the cup sticks. But then we place the cup on top of the ears and on top of the legs, trying not to get it on the fence. Then we have a pig 
leaning over the fence. Well, a big thank you to Claire and a big thank you to Rachel for reading, for telling us our craft. I hope you all had a wonderful time doing that. Well, that is nearly everything from us. We are going to pray and then that's it for today. So let's everybody bow your heads, close your eyes, whatever you feel comfortable doing whilst we pray. Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you are like the dad in the story who's looking out, running at us, running to give us a big giant hug because you love us so much. Thank you that you are in control of this year and we pray that you will just be with us every step of the way. We know that you will, so we just thank you in advance for every day of 2021 and beyond, Lord, that you are with us. So we just thank you for that and we thank you that you love us and you care for us. Amen. Amazing. Well, guys, I just want to say that 2021 is going to be a great year and I'm excited I hope you're excited. I'm very excited that we are going to be here every week bringing you videos. We are going to be learning about some amazing people in the Bible. For the next few weeks, we are going to be learning all stories that Jesus himself taught. So they are called parables. So keep an eye out. Every Sunday, we will be here. And we would, as always, we would love to hear from you. Hear about your Christmas, hear about your New Year's, hear about everything. We would just love to hear from you. So don't hesitate to get in contact and I will see you very soon. Bye.